Welcome back everybody, Everyday Organics, checking in with everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our adventure of our aquaponics farm. So I wanted to talk today about why we're doing what we're doing. Um, some of that is the Texas weather. We get awfully hot here. And so everything, like anywhere, is seasonal and our goal is to be able to produce fruits and vegetables that may be out of season every other time of year but we're able to produce it and provide for the community around us but so why we chose aquaponics was mainly for that reason but we also both had an interest in why and how the system works uh, the neat thing I think about it is that it is self-sustaining for the most part. Yes, you have to feed the fish. Yes, you have to get your pH levels right. But once you do that, the system pretty much runs itself. It's a closed loop system, so you know, you're not wasting a bunch of water. And here in Texas, we have droughts, you know, water shortages is always a concern. So being able to run the same water in and out of the system and not have the roots fighting for that nutrients, that water, makes a big difference. Not to mention, you know, even though we live on a farm, we don't want to work that much land. Um, we use that land for other things such as hay and we have a lavender field. So there's other things that we want to utilize the property for where with aquaponics we can stuff everything into basically a tenth of the space and produce ten times as much product. So being able to do that was one of the other big reasons that we did. Now, has it been an easy process? Absolutely not. Uh, there's definitely been some learning curves, some bumps in the road, and the expense of getting started um, is about what we expected, but it is pricey to get that started versus just throwing things into the ground. So we've started with essentially two 650 gallon tanks. Uh, we've got six deep reservoir tables, four by four. We've got a shallow four by four and we've got a shallow four by eight. And we plan on utilizing each propagation bed for a different thing. Uh, we've got several that we're doing all fruits and vegetables. We've got house plants because we want to start recouping some of the costs that we've had on building this system. So house plants are a good way to get out there to the public. It's popular. They don't take long, especially in this type of system setup. So we've chosen a couple beds for that, but we've also chosen to do microgreens because well, it's Austin, and people like that type of thing. Not to mention, they have a ton of nutrients, and they are very tasty. And then we've got the other shallow bed for our lavender that we're propagating for not only our field, but for our market that we do twice a month, and are able to sell plants to the public. So that's our reason on why we did it. Um, show you a quick little view of our setup here. So we've got our natural pond slash pool for the kids and for us to enjoy under the shade. There's one of our tanks, our second tank, and as you can see our shallow beds, our deeps, there's the better half. And so that is. So follow along, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and we'll see y'all soon.